always had a love-hate relationship with New Year's resolutions. The new year, new me mindset. It's time for breakfast. Gotta get up. You gotta get up. For me, it's always meant putting just a bit too much pressure on myself and feeling more than a bit disappointed when I don't live up to my own weirdly high expectations. Now it's mid-January and I'm trying to figure out how to reset in a way that's more sustainable. We're going to begin with going through some of my goals, which is basically just going to be an updated notion tour because my life is on there. And one of my goals, or a subplot of one of my goals, is to be an oatmeal girly. And that is more because I really want to try and eat more protein this year. It is something I'm notoriously bad at, and I've always hated oatmeal. So I started making oatmeal and mixing in protein powder, chocolate protein powder, and it's actually amazing. It's like a dessert. So we're doing pretty good so far. So usually the first thing that I will do in my Notion is update my daily to-do list, which is right at the top here. Read is always there. <laughs> And then today I also want to work out, shower, walk Mr. Zeus, do some laundry. Reed also needs to come with an asterisk. Today we need to finish Ruthless Vows. I have been reading this book for two weeks. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. Okay, I started reading Akatar, rereading Akatar. I've been reading that <laughs> instead of Ruthless Vows. And it's not that Ruthless Vows is bad. I am enjoying it every time I pick it up, but once I put it down, I don't really want to pick it up again. So further down my notion, I have my monthly TBR. I would like to read Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, which I have read. Ruthless Vows, we are working on it. <laughs> Heartless by Elsie Silver. It is the second book in the Chestnut Springs series. I don't know how I'm going to get to it, considering it is January 14th. And then we have first three books in Akatar. I don't know if I'm going to reread a Court of Frost and Starlight or A Court of Silver Flames. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. I feel like it might not be. I think Agatha should have been a trilogy <laughs> and I think it was supposed to be a trilogy and that's why the other two, well, A Court of Frost and Starlight is like a novella, but A Court of Silver Flames felt very different to me and it's probably my least favorite book in the series. And it's massive, <laughs> so I don't know if I want to reread it. I love this series so much and I don't want to see it like go downhill, you know? You know like when a TV show goes on too long and you're like, oh, they should have ended it like three seasons ago go and it would have been like a good ending but I don't know it could be great I am really excited for the third Crescent City book this is my 2024 goals page and if you couldn't tell I have moments all over my notion I just think they're cute <laughs> I did make a Notion template. I'll put it in the description if you're interested. Some of my personal goals this year, I want to run a 5K, which maybe sounds <laughs> small to a lot of people, but I have always hated running. I was the type of person that would only run like 10 minutes max. And I'd be like, time to walk, you know? And I've been pretty consistent with it, which I'm pretty proud of myself for. And just try to be more active. For anyone else that works a desk job, like a nine to five desk job, it is such a difficult transition for your like mental and physical health. <laughs> so I think 2023 was me kind of getting used to it. I want 2024 to be me trying to live my best, healthiest life, basically. Some of my fun goals. I want to read 60 books this year. Now, my goal last year was 70 books and I did not hit that. <laughs> I hit 67, which is close, but I definitely felt the pressure of trying to read to hit a goal and it made it not as fun. And I feel like I've heard a couple people talking about this this year. So 2024 needs to be our year of reading for fun again, because I think so many of us set this huge goal to try and hit, but then it makes reading feel like a chore. So 60 books is still a lot, but I feel kind of more confident that I can hit that without beating myself up if I don't read six books a month to hit it <laughs> or having good reads be like you are three books behind schedule because that kind of sucks <laughs> some other side fun goals I want to go to Paris and London and that's something I'm so excited about I have never been to Europe at all so it's gonna be really cool the time change is probably gonna be rough <laughs> but I'm very excited about it I'm gonna go to a lot of bookstores so I'll probably vlog some of that I've been rambling for a really long time so just one more thing we're gonna go through real quick I have some reading goals that I set for myself this year. Obviously, I, like I said, 2024 reading goal, 60 books. But some things that I want to do is diversify my reading because I read, well, I read pretty much exclusively fiction and more specifically fantasy and romance. And I love fantasy and romance. That's not going to stop. <laughs> but I would like to read maybe a few nonfiction books, a few classics. If you watched my last video, I bought a couple of classics. And I would also like to diversify the authors I'm reading. I also would like to only buy physical books that I I really think or that I know that I like because I kind of went through a phase mid 2023 <laughs> where 
If I saw a book that sounded interesting, without really thinking about it, I would buy it. And now I have all these books on my physical TBR that I'm just not really excited about reading. Part of that is because I always just want to read the newest book on my TBR. I think everyone feels that way. But there are books where I'm like, is this is probably going to be like a three-star book. And I don't really want my bookshelves to be full of three-star books. I would rather read those on my Kindle or from the library. Unless they're like crazy discounted or something where it's cheaper than buying an ebook. <laughs> I want to be more mindful. And then lastly, I would like to read more before bed instead of scrolling on my phone. I kind of get into the habit of like, even if I read and then I'll stop reading and be like, okay, time to go to sleep. But then I like scroll through Instagram or Twitter or something for like 20 more minutes. And that's just not <laughs> what I want to be the last thing I'm looking at before I go to sleep. Anyway, I have been talking for so long and Zeus is patiently waiting for his walk. So we're gonna go do that. earlier it is mid-january and as much as i love <laughs> christmas decor i think it's time for it to go so i would like to switch out all the christmas decorations in my room and on my bookshelves for more like spring type ones even though it's gonna be this cold for like the next two or three months i like to live in denial Step. What I would like to do is make a 2024 vision board. I saved a bunch of stuff to Pinterest already So I think I'm just gonna download all those photos add in some of my own photos and probably just make it on Photoshop So I'll show you it when it's done <laughs> So I finished making my vision boards and I have a spot on my Notion where I usually put it. So we're going to do that now. If you care to see it, here is my vision board. <laughs> I'm gonna put it down here. Now that we've done that, I've pretty much checked off everything I wanted to do in this 2024 reset. The last thing is to read. <laughs> we need to read Ruthless Vows. I need to put a dent in this book. I've been reading it for far too long. So we're going to do that and just kind of get cozy for the rest of the night because it is actually freezing and it's starting to get dark. <laughs> little bit about Ruthless Vows while I get my dinner ready. I originally was gonna make like a tofu rice bowl, but I don't feel like cooking that much to be honest. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna make scrambled eggs, but I think I'm on page 300 of Ruthless Vows now, which it's definitely gotten good. Here's the thing. I think I said this earlier, but I just kind of hadn't been wanting to pick it up and I really enjoyed Divine Rivals, but it wasn't my favorite because it also to me felt kind of slow at parts and I think this one kind of feels the same way, but I think I might enjoy this one more just because we get more insight into like the gods and the mythology 
energy of the world, which is really interesting. And it did the thing that like I have mixed feelings about in fantasy, where you like separate the love interests for the majority of the book. You know, like a Mockingjay, Katniss and Peeta type situation. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. But the writing is so good. Like I, I feel like it's written so beautifully and I've highlighted a ton of quotes <laughs> in this book. So that's like one thing that I really do like about this series and I think it's pretty unique about it compared to other fantasy books. But honestly, like I'm kind of just ready to finish it. I'm going to probably take a break from reading to eat dinner and then I'll try and go back to it because I really would like to finish this book tonight if I can. I think I have about 120 pages left though, so I don't know how likely that is. <laughs> I'm gonna put some ham and some cottage cheese in my eggs to try and up the protein a bit. I don't know if anyone else that like works full time or you go to school or whatever, like you have something to do. You have to be up early in the morning and it's like your time really isn't your own. The night before, I learned this recently, but I am such a revenge bedtime procrastinator. And that basically means that I will sacrifice my like sleep to feel like I have more free time, especially on Sunday nights because because Sunday nights are just kind of depressing. Like I have to go back to work for five days. Yay. <laughs> and the next morning I feel terrible. Which is how I became a coffee drinker. So I'm gonna try not to do that tonight. That's another thing I wanna try and do this year is to get more sleep. And I know that's like a big part of your health and just like your mental stability and muscle growth and everything. Like you need rest. It's just so hard when it feels like so much of my time is not my own. Anyway. I just thought it was interesting that there's like a word for that because I'm sure it's something that a lot of us do. I also this year would like to be more willing to DNF books. That's something I forgot to mention earlier, but I would like to be more willing to DNF books that I'm really not enjoying because life's too short and I have far too many books to be reading books I'm not enjoying, which sounds counterintuitive because I'm talking about how I'm forcing myself to read Ruthless Vows, but I am enjoying it. Like while I'm reading it, I'm really enjoying it. I'm invested, feeling pretty good about 2024 right now. We got a lot of stuff done today that I wanted to get done and it was nice to have kind of like a chill day to myself. Thank you for spending it with me. Let me know what some of your 2024 goals are. If you set a reading goal this year, let me know what yours is. I hope you are having fun with reading and not comparing yourself to other people. So I actually did end up finishing Ruthless Vows, and I really enjoyed the last quarter of the book, even though it did make me cry. I love Iris and Roman with my whole heart. I also stayed up quite a bit later than I'd like, which kinda contradicts my earlier goal of getting enough rest. I guess I'm trying to strive for my goals in a way that's productive and not destructive. And sometimes what I really need is to finish my book. 